हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ संतोषी टीचर आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एंड फाइन लेट अस बिगिन नाउ द चैप्टर नंबर फोर न्यूट्रिशन इन लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ नाउ लेट्स रिकॉल व्हाट इज माल न्यूट्रिशन विच आर द वेज टू प्रिवेंट माल न्यूट्रिशन फर्स्ट वन इज वॉट इज माल न्यूट्रिशन माल न्यूट्रिशन इज a bad health which is due to not having enough food or right kind of food is called as malnutrition you must have seen children around you who look very weak for their age now what is the reason for that reason for that is due to not having enough food or right kind of food which are the ways to prevent malnutrition ways to prevent malnutrition is to have enough food what to have balanced diet balanced diet means what to have all the six different constituents of food in whatever food which we eat in this video we will see this is our textbook page we will see all these topics nutrition food stuff macronutrients micronutrients then need for nutrition autotrophic nutrition heterotrophic nutrition and autotrophic plants nutrition what is nutrition the process of ingesting and using food for energy in living organisms is called nutrition nutrition is simply a process where an organism taking in food and utilizes it to produce energy good nutrition is an important part to leading an healthy lifestyle food stuff some life processes goes on continuously in living organisms life processes example of those life processes are digestion circulation respiration excretion assimilation absorption and so on substances which are digested and assimilated for obtaining energy and for the growth and health of our body are called as food stuffs now every day we have meals isn't it we have breakfast we have lunch evening snacks we have dinner also we have and in between some food stuff also we have now we get several types of nutrients from the food stuff what is nutrients nutrients is anything that nourish a living being we human beings get a nutrients from what we eat a substance or ingredients that promote growth provide energy and maintain a healthy life is nutrients these nutrients can be classified into two types namely macronutrients and micronutrients nutrients like carbohydrates proteins and fats are required in large quantity these nutrients are called macronutrients macronutrients are those nutrients required in large amount that provide us the energy needed to, to maintain body functions and carry out activities of daily life now what is micronutrients micronutrients are those uh, which one one uh, major group of the nutrients our body needs they includes vitamins minerals vitamins are necessary for our immune system see nowadays to fight against corona virus our immunity system should be strong so we have to take vitamin tablets like vitamin c vitamin d vitamins are useful for blood clotting for energy productions minerals also help in growth and for fluid balance need for nutrition as we all know we need good nutrition to be healthy if we eat poorly we are likely to be sick and unhealthy 
so need for nutrition first one to supply the energy required for doing work growth and development of the body to replace the damaged cells and repair tissue and to fight against diseases so we already understood the need for nutrition now there are two types of nutrition autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic means auto means self and tropic means prepared it means self prepared autotrophic means self prepared some organisms can produce their own food and thus nourish themselves this is called autotrophic nutrition in other words some organisms like plants can prepare their own food for nourishment and opposite to that heterotrophic nutrition some organisms depend on other organisms plants or animals for their food this is called heterotrophic nutrition as we all know plants prepare their own food are called autotrophic plants plants also need food for their growth they can produce their own food with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll plants make their food in their leaves using water and nutrients from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air this process is called as photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process used by plants to make their own food we can also say that it is converted into light energy to chemical energy this chemical energy used by plants for their growth and nourishment photo means light synthesis means putting together or prepare to make their food plants require light and uh, water and carbon dioxide also nutrients soil plants get light from sunlight water from ground and carbon dioxide from air all these factors like water carbon dioxide and sunlight help plants for their growth see there is a chemical reaction carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll produce food food of the plants that is in the form of glucose and oxygen released in the atmosphere plants convert light energy into chemical energy and store it in the form of food water minerals and salts are absorbed by roots from the soil and the stem transport them up to the leaves the leaves have microscopic opening called stomata through which they take into the in the carbon uh, carbon dioxide from the air the chloroplast present in the leaves contain chlorophyll which absorbs sunlight helping to convert carbon dioxide and water into food oxygen is given out in this process besides leaves photosynthesis takes place in some other parts like green stems as they contain chlorophyll thank you